What is up my YouTube friends? If you live stream these days, you want a way to recognize your audience that's fun and interactive for them. Today, I wanna to show you how to use alerts to add animations to your live stream overlays in OBS for followers, subscribers, donations, super chats, bits, no matter what platform you're using, YouTube or Twitch. Oh, and by the way, it's totally free. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. This is a pretty simple process. First, we'll log on and set up our alerts in Stream Elements. Second, we're gonna set up the alerts in OBS. And third, I'm gonna show you how to test the alerts and move them around if you need to. Now, there are two popular services for adding alerts, Streamlabs and Stream Elements. Both have their benefits and negatives, but basically they offer the exact same services. I use Stream Elements because I feel like the customization takes a lot less time due to the fact that it's got like a visual setup. So that's the one I'm gonna be showing you today, but both are totally free and viable options. Here in Stream Elements, we're gonna select our platform of choice. In my case, that is YouTube. And you just log in with your account, whether it's Facebook, Twitch, or wherever you're streaming to, and it'll bring you up to this dashboard here. I'm just gonna go and drop down streaming tools and I'm gonna select my overlays. And I have a lot of overlays in here for a lot of different alerts that I like to use, but we're gonna create a blank overlay. It's just gonna bring us right in here. And I stream at 1080p, so we're gonna click start there. I'm gonna name my overlay up here in the top left hand corner and we'll just call this one alert tutorial and then we're gonna go and click add widget I'm gonna go to alerts and we're gonna add an alert box now this screen right here represents our actual screen that we're gonna see over in OBS so this box here shows us where our alerts are gonna show up we can zoom in and out of that screen right here and we can place our alerts anywhere we want on the screen it makes it really easy to know where they're gonna show up which is nice it's one of the things I really like about stream elements now this right here position and size shows us where our box is but we we want to get into our alerts. So the checkbox on the left is the alerts that you have selected to use with this widget. And we'll just click this little gear here and we can go in here and set up our alerts. So right here on the left, we see the video or image that's being used for the alert. And we can click on change video and select any of the ones that there are already in there. And these green ones are ones that are already in there. And then some of these are ones that I've uploaded. And if we go over into images, you can upload an animated GIF or something like that. And these are all ones that I've uploaded myself. But for now, let's use the standard one. This one right here with the little heart so we're gonna leave it the way it is we can adjust the volume some of these have audio to them we can also change the sound if we'd like we can click upload sound and I have some clips in here that I've already uploaded and I use these for some of the custom alerts I used to use but we're just gonna stick with the standard sound and we can adjust the volume here now this shows us exactly where the text is gonna show up and we can also show a subscriber message so if someone subscribes with a message it can show that as well and usually there's not a subscriber message but for donations and super chats a lot of times there is a message so it's nice to have that show up on screen and we can just go down here and emulate and test and this shows us what this is gonna look like and then if we switch the layout you can see that and then this one here which basically has the text behind it so you can't really see the text at all not sure how that makes any sense but we'll select this one here all the way on the right and that displays the text below and there is a way that you can modify these to put the text anywhere you you want I will show you that in a moment but you've got your alert duration 10 seconds you can change if we go down here to the bottom with animated settings you can select how you want your text to show up whether the text is delayed when it shows up and that's all for using customized alerts you can also go in here and change the font for your alert change how it's set up you can bold it unbold it make it center aligned or left aligned or right aligned however you want you can also go into advanced and this is where you're going to adjust the actual position of your text and your secondary text. And we'll get into that in a moment, but you could see if I just change the, the margin and I select subscriber event, it really doesn't look like it moved all that much. 
but you can see when we adjust it, it did move. And if we play with the numbers, we can adjust the text. And it's nice that this does this while it's actually active. So you can visibly see what you're changing. So we can move our text up over our actual event just by changing this number. And that allows us to place our text wherever we want. And of course, this is really good for any sort of custom alerts that you may want to build in the future. For this alert, we're going to go ahead and leave it the same. Next, let's go into member alert. I'm going to click this and you can see the settings for all these are exactly the same. The colors are a little bit different on the alert. So if I go in here and test this one, you can see it's purple. Let's go into the super chat one here. And if we scroll down here, this name super chatted currency and amount is what's going to show up on the screen. And we can show our super chat messages and let's run one of those. And you can see right below it has a little message that the viewer probably wrote when they selected the super chat. So that's cool. If you want to have the viewer message, that's always nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to select one of these custom alerts and we're going to go and move that text to where it's supposed to be. And we do that by going into text settings and then we're going to click advanced. We're just going to change this number. Let's try minus 150 and we'll click emulate and we'll go ahead and click this and we're getting closer. Now you can see one problem with having the message displayed underneath it is it really doesn't fit on a custom alert like this. So sometimes usually what I'll do is I'll just remove the custom text and that way it's easy for me to set these alerts up. Don't have to worry about the custom text. I'll usually try to read it aloud on the stream anyways. And we can change our alert duration here. You'll see that this alert really isn't playing from the very beginning. So it makes it difficult to actually see how this is going to work because the little animation that shows at the beginning is kind of showing in the middle. So you might have to go into your actual broadcast software to test this just to make sure it's all completely set up right. But generally speaking, if you have the placement right, you're in good shape. And an alert duration of around 10 seconds, even with custom alerts, is generally what you get. So what I do like to do is delay that text from coming on for just a few seconds. So I'll go down here and I'll go ahead to the text animation settings and the text appears delay. I'm just going to put this up a little bit so that the entrance animation will play and then our text will appear. So it doesn't look like our text is appearing over the entrance animation. And it's difficult to see here because it doesn't really play the animation properly. It just appears. But you'll see later when we test this in OBS that that little text delay works perfectly. So all the alerts basically set up exactly the same. We can go into our tip alert and we're probably just going to use the standard image. So I think we're all set. All you have to do is select the box on the left for the alerts that you want to have and then click save. So now let's go down to the menu at the bottom. You're going to want to turn this audio off if you're going to have stream elements open open so it's not playing twice on your system. And then we're going to click this link in the top right hand corner and that copies the link to this alert to our clipboard. And now Stream Elements is all set up. It's really easy in Stream Elements to set up alerts and place them properly in a scene. Now let's set them up in OBS. Here in OBS we have our camera in already. I'm just going to click the plus and I'm going to go to browser and I'm going to just add a browser. You could probably name this alert so you know what it is. And I'm going to paste that URL that we just copied out and I'm going to change the settings here for the height and width to what my actual stream is broadcasting at 1920 by 1080. I'm going to click control audio via OBS so that if my alert has any audio I can adjust the volume. I don't have to worry about it blowing out eardrums or anything like that. And then I'm going to refresh the cache and click OK. And now the alert is totally set up. It's that easy. That's all there is to it. Our alerts will now play in the scene that we set them up for. Let's test them and make sure they show up when we want them to and where. I split the screen here so I can show you how we test these. So all I need to do is go over here to emulate once again and I can click my event and it shows up on both scenes. So you can see exactly where it's placed. If I move this over here in stream elements, I can move it wherever I want. And if I click save, then what I can do is I could go ahead and click emulate and go back to that event and you can see that it is moved on OBS's screen. So this allows you to easily place your stuff exactly where you want it in stream elements so your layouts are all perfect and I really like that. We'll go over here to super chat event and you can see that now this is working just fine. The text appears exactly how it should and we're getting the full animation which is absolutely awesome. We could probably even delay the text just a little bit more if we wanted to. 
but you have the general idea. Now you know how to delay the text if you need to. And this is how you would test them all to make sure that they work exactly as they're supposed to work. And once they do, you're all set. You don't have to have stream elements open when you live stream. It's automatically gonna check that browser source when an alert comes in and it's just going to play. If you wanna see how you can use alerts that can change scenes in your live stream, it's like the ultimate audience interaction. You should definitely check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.